Well, this weekend, um, Blackstone Launchpad, we're hosting a 24-hour fashion tech hackathon. Students from all over are coming, and uh, basically what they're going to be doing is uh, creating prototypes and uh, commercializing like apps and different things over the course of 24 hours, and all of it has a focus of uh, wearable technology. Wearable technology is really big right now, different things like Fitbit, fitness devices, uh, Google Glass, so anything that you're wearing and has technology in it um, are things that we'd like to see develop. We have approximately 115 different students coming. Um, they are coming from four different states. Because we have a really good fashion school as well as computer science, a world-class Liquid Crystal Institute out here, we wanted to bring these different groups together because we think that Kent State has the resources um, to actually develop something significant around this wearable technology industry. We're hosting this in the School of Fashion here at Kent State, so we have um, the textile lab equipment is available, we have uh, 3D body scanners, 3D printers, um, we've also got a lot of like uh, conductive thread and just different things that um, a lot of cool stuff could be built with. What kind of thing Sorry, are you guys next, looking like? Next time. I know you said you have a couple ideas, but what are like some of the things? Because that'll, that'll kind of help narrow down like yeah. which, which piece of it. Yeah. Do you think this would work for us? Gonna be plugged into it. That's what I was wondering. Well, no. You, so these are all. See, like these are all pin numbers. Let's see for yeah, it can be for any pin. Yeah. Next one. Yeah. Yeah. You need on the front and the back, or yeah. even just like the sleeves you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or bed into a. We're doing a belt buckle just this one time. Just yeah. a belt buckle. Yeah, because what we're doing is we're trying to make it. Um, unisex this so that we can show yeah. the ability for both the husband and the wife to wear it. I've been up all night, all 24 plus hours. Everything is going great. We have about 13 presentations that the students have are going to be presenting here very shortly. My fingers and hands want to just give up. <laughs> Put it over here, and it'll be. You can see the the clear. Oh, so nice! I, like I think that. that looks great. It's an eye writer. It pretty much reads your eye movement, and you use it to control the mouse. So this is a um, glove, and basically it has a pulse monitor in the palm. So when you hold hands with somebody, you can uh, detect their heart rate. Well, it's a jacket that um, has a ventilation system built in. Flat is a way for parents to easily um, track their children. 3D printers stopped working through the competition, so we had to make the, the casing like out of cardboard. I guess I'm just like working on a vest that charges your cell phone. I left to go to sleep because I felt pretty confident in what I was doing, but now it's basically the last minute and I still haven't attached the photovoltaic panels. So. Just a reminder to the judges and everybody else here, we've all been awake for well over 24 hours, so we're, we're, we're running on fumes. We're gonna stick pretty hard to the uh, five minute pitch, and then we'll have like two or three minutes for the judges to ask you some follow-up questions. winning piece is going to go to the designer of Miracle Soul. <laughs> My idea was a, a running sole that tracks the, the pressure on the bottom of your feet as you run to basically correct bad running form and hopefully to improve it so you know what you're doing wrong so you know how to fix it. It feels amazing having come here with absolutely no idea of what I want to do and then leaving with the, the number one spot. That's, that's incredible.